Hello beautiful Photoshop people It's Charlie Beck over here and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an aging effect as you can see we have a little cute granny over here this is what we're going to be doing today I'm going to go ahead and close that and open up our model this is her actual face I'm going to open her up in Photoshop before I continue um, I have to point out that I learned this Photoshop thing in a book called Creative Photoshop by Derek Lear. It's a great book and I think all of you should get it. Creative Photoshop by Derek Lear. It comes with a CD with resources as you can see. So you can actually follow him along whilst he's teaching you how to use Photoshop. It's a great book. It's a lot of other fun stuff in it. You check that out. Okay, so let's go back to Photoshop. So let's go ahead, hold on out and change this to a normal layer, just for the fun of it. <laughs> and let's go back and get our old man. Let's pull that over him. Sorry, over here. I say over him. Let's change it to screen so we can see what we're doing. And try to get their eye and their lips in line. In the background I'm playing Dark Suburb at the Feel You Die. Nice rock band. Okay, you're trying to get that in, right? Nice. I'm going to check that in. Change it back to normal. And create a vector mask for the old guy. Yeah? Get a brush. Now, if you don't know how to use the vector mask, this is basically it. With when, when it's in black and you brush, it's going to make the clear the image. It's going to make it disappear. Press X to swap to white. And it's gonna come back in when you brush on white. That's how I use a vector mask. So go ahead and let me see. Go ahead and change that to black. And just clear out. If I clear out the whole mask, clear out everything. Get a hard brush. Put it on full. And I just clear out everything. Cool. Okay. Now zoom in on the girl. Let's clip bucket to make your brush range smaller. Come right over here. Okay. Press X to swap to white. It's basically X to swap between the colors. So press X. Get it go to the white. Reduce the opacity and get a soft brush. And I just brush on granny wrinkles like that. Brushing her wrinkles nicely. Just give her that wrinkly forehead. You can't have a smooth forehead, you're a granny. Take your wrinkles. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take your wrinkles. Take your little wrinkles. Nice. Okay, now Granny is looking now old. But as you can see, the old guy had a different. Um, how do I say it? It has a different shade of color. It's a little bit more orangey. So let's try and blend that in, okay? So go right here to the old mask layer. Like that. And control U to open up hue saturation. Sorry. You have to rasterize the layer first. So. Go ahead, click on the layer and with the rice. And now you press Ctrl U and that should open up. Good. 
this reduces saturation and as you can see it's blending it nicely I think I like this yeah I like that so I'm gonna hit OK yeah that's again okay, nice now go ahead take your brush too Take your brush too and first, first let's go ahead and mesh these layers. Yeah, let's go ahead and mesh them. Now go to your brush too. Zoom in on the face. Hold on owls to sample colors. Let's sample this color right here. And use that to just brush gently against the face. Reduce the opacity a whole lot. You don't you don't want it to really show that much. So brush carefully just brush your face so what so what, what kind of like blending and the colors nicely yeah you don't want it to be too much just slightly sample just sample different colors and just blend in the skin nicely You, you want you want the old man parts to kind of like blend nicely with hers. That's why. Okay, cool. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Nice. I'll take your band too. What is that again? So now take your dodge too, not your band too. Take your dodge too. I want to just make you just line setting up your head a little bit. As you can see, you slide in and up just a little bit. Don't overdo it, just little light strokes. Nice. Just like that. As you can see, we have our little cute granny here. She's looking out nice. Now, definitely, I have this little scratch effect thing going. Some little scratches, I think. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. So, let's go ahead and add that. So, I, it makes it look like it's an old picture that's been in the cupboard for a really long time. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's add that. Check it in. And let's change the mode. In fact, let's just go through the options and see which one is good. I think I like this one. Let's see what we have. It's a little bit too much, don't you think? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. I think I like this one. I'm not sure about it. I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, there we go. And then we have our little nice granny. Ooh, I have a friend. That's my little friend. That's my little friend. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where is he? I'm sorry, I have to do this. I just have to do this. <laughs> ah, ah, me wants granny's brain. No, no. Go away. We're working on granny. Ah, just one bite. No, no. Bad zombie. Go away. Ah, me want zombie brain. No, stop, stop. Leave granny alone. Ah, zombie wants brain. Ah, go away. Go away. Bad zombie. <laughs> I don't, I just, I just felt like doing that. <laughs> okay, so now we have a little cute granny. So that's how you do it. So go ahead and check out creative. Photoshop by Derek Clear, it's a really awesome book. Go to my YouTube channel. Also, do tunes. You can go ahead and like them, even if you don't like them. I would appreciate it. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. Shall I Vic?